This is Patito's Gang, and you're welcome to this episode. We're looking at living your life in Nigeria as if there's no government. The Italian model, when politicians were fighting over several issues, uh, you know, trying to govern Italy, uh, the people decided that, look, okay, let the politicians, the government do whatever they want to do. Then for us, we can live our own lives, express ourselves. And Italians began to set up businesses to make themselves comfortable. And eventually, when the government realized that, hey, that the people don't care anymore, they had to realign. But then Italy had developed into an industrial uh, nation that the, it, it, it is today. And we're saying, look, can we replicate that in Nigeria? That's the point we're discussing. And the gang members are here to uh, share some experiences and throw more light into this. Can we live without government? Yes, Is it possible? Can. I think yes. that's what we're doing already. Yes. Uh, that's what we're doing already in Nigeria. Uh, we're, yeah. we're, we're living without government, most, most people. Yes. You, you, you understand? Because uh, if you ask the ordinary Nigerian, average Nigerian now, he provides practically whatever he needs. Government seems to be far, government not seems, is far away. From the people. Yes, it's far away from the people. That's how people live. So I think that's what we are doing. Yeah, yeah but then Already. another perspective to it, uh, a great deal of uh, Nigerian people's economy is actually controlled by politics to a very great extent. Because you have a situation where in some states you could have a SA to the governor, up to 600 persons being appointed in a state. Executive assistance up to 2,000, you know. So when you have a case study like that, it just appears that people cannot just do with that at that moment. But I think Italy case study is a very perfect scenario because, of course, the corruption we complain of here today, uh, you know, was paramount, uh, you, know, you know, what's prevalent yeah. in Italy. But they must have the courage, you know, to go against the wind. Because another aspect, because when you talk about everything government, that also in involves uh, even the education provided by the government in public sectors. Of course, we have a good number of children. Then my worry with achieving this uh, level of uh, self-reliance, it's that aspect of how do people think? You know, the thought process. We must have to deliberately move from schooling to education. And by that I mean we should be able to discover, develop, and rightfully deploy people's innate potentials to be able to achieve that level well, of Well, this is not a collective thing. The question that Mr. Austin have just uh, thrown out here, he's talking about uh, something that is a mind is a is a is a is a, a, mind, a, a, shift. Is a mind shift, and also is a mind thing. It's but, not some. But, but, but of course, a mind no, shift no. for one person, right? Yes, will not make for all. Yeah, no, no, that's what I was going to so, say. So there so must be a rallying point. No, no. The rallying point here is that the question he asks: Can we do without the government in our lives? And the answer to that, like he rightly said, is yes, we can. However, to an extent. And he have also said that we're already living like there's no government. It's just that we can't help ourselves in different areas. Because in Nigeria today, we provide our own roads. We provide our own electricity. We provide our own water. And these are the things that... Uh, governments supposed to be doing for us. Yeah. So the government of Nigeria, if they have any incline or clue about the way people are feeling, I think they what leave us alone. No, no, they, I mean they already <laughs> left us alone. They should come back to us because we have actually gone through that process for many years. You know, before we start this program here, I had a discussion with uh, um, my learned friend here, and he said that in certain places in the East, that the community came together to say that they only get involved with the government when government get involved with them, because they are doing everything for themselves, so they don't need the government. No. So, so in other words, our government should take a clue and realize that the people are disenfranchised by the way they are doing things. It's not working, you know? We're just going by the motion. I, I, you know? And you, you know that uh, is, is the government involvement in the economy in Nigeria is over between 75 and 85 percent, okay, among the highest in the world. 
in the Europe and America is less than 40%. In Hong Kong, pre-Chinese uh, Hong Kong, when the British were you know, in charge, Hong Kong had less than 10% government involvement. What, how did the government get into this? By regulating some of the things that they, it was like a laissez-faire uh, state. Enterprises were running smoothly. And that's why the major part of China today, the most important part of China today, is Hong Kong. Because Hong Kong became a financial center. Yeah, yeah, very and and if you check, even, I, I, I will learn very soon, yes. then you can. If, if you check, even how, by the time the British took over, uh, you know, they, they went to negotiate, and China gave them, say, okay, you can take only Hong Kong. That the Queen, I think Queen Victoria at that time, fired the Secretary of State, the Foreign Secretary, that she sent. He said, oh, you were able to negotiate mm. only a piece of rock. And an entrepreneur, a British entrepreneur based in Hong Kong, sent a, te a, a, a telegram to the Queen and said, Madam Queen, that you should give him 10 years to develop Hong Kong to become a trading port for Her Majesty Kingdom. And in less than 10 years, Hong Kong took off, took off and, you know, and coastal area, being a coastal area which develops more faster than in, inland areas. Coastal areas. You see, I, I, need, I need to bring something up yes. here. You see, in the world today, most uh, rich countries today are asking the government to get away out of their life. Yeah. Because in the United States, you will notice that those who are clamoring for gun control or those who are into gun uh, uh, um, are saying that the government should get out of their life. They want to do things the way they want to do it. However, government have a role to play. Yeah. The role of the government can never be underemphasized yeah. because the government is the one controlling our economy. The government is the one to create an enabling environment for the uh, ordinary businessman to operate. Mm -hmm. But what we are saying here is that our government, government of Nigeria, has been away from our life for many years. And we, call, <laughs> and we are calling... And we are calling... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You, you could say they have been away, but the, 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 they the, are the, interested the, the, in your business. The, yes. And of course, with yes. the level of government uh, you know, interest in people's business, of course, where you set up a little shop mm -hmm. and the next thing, business premises, you know, come to collect tax, the next thing you have, like different agencies of government, because of course with the, our, our taxation system at the moment allow for you know multiple sources, which does not encourage businesses. But you know, with, so so when you look at the, the two scenario, that even though Italy and Nigeria were similar in some regards, but then the government. What's that, what are the similarities? Know, the similarities corruption. then, of course, corruption. You understand, you know, less if attitude from the aspect of the leadership. But then one good part of it was the government was not really interested and was not interested in their business also. You know, but like somebody rightly uh, you know, submitted, he said a government have no business in business, but not for the government of Nigeria. Because yes. it's interested yeah. in every really aspect of it. So even before yeah. the business can emerge, because from statistics, 50% of businesses, you know, over 50% don't get to see the, their feedback day, right? because of, you know, yes. harsh business yeah, environment and all the rest. And, all and not to talk about when you have so much of government interference. It was uh, Will Rogers, uh, American philosopher, and as I said that, that the business of government is for government to get out of business, unless business <laughs> needs government aid. Yes. There are times that businesses will need government aid. Like what, yes. when Barack Obama was, uh, you know, came on, and the uh, American economy, the businesses were, you know, like hemorrhaging. And he injected some funds. Into, package. Yeah, yes. That is the only time, like uh, uh, John Maynard Keynes uh, said, that sometimes you need government intervention. And so uh, we just said that look, b the business of government is for government to get out of business, unless that business needs government aid. Yeah, but you see, you see, in those areas, sorry, yeah. I don't mean to, yeah, in, those, in, the, in, the, in those areas yeah. that you have just talked about, you see, there are things that are different. One of them is the government have already laid out an infrastructure for their people. So the people have decided among themselves that they don't want to mess or monkey around with the policies of the government. 
So they can say government get away. But in Nigerian government, we have Pharisees. They have <laughs> yes, Nigerian government as policy makers. <laughs> Pharisees, the Pharisee, those that uh, don't want to go to heaven, and they still don't want other people that want to go to heaven. And to heaven. exactly, so I, policies that yeah, will that are very. Uh, so I, yeah. I I look at it. Our government of Nigeria have been on holidays for many years among the Nigerian people. And then you asking that question, I think is a little bit rhetoric question because the government is not in our lives, and they don't want to be. So what we are saying is that it's not in our life. It's not in our life the way they should be. I think I think I'll start from there. The government is not in our life in the way they should be. They have been intruding in the way they should not be intruding. You understand? So, but but but, 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 but then, who are those that does this interference? It's still people like me and you. No, not. And correct. that is why we are the government. And the government is us. You know, because it. You know, and, 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 and one of the one of the areas that you know that the government is actually overreaching, or where you will know that there is government in Nigeria, is when you haven't paid your taxes and are running after, they are coming after you. And when you have when you have contravened you one thing or the other, then you see the power, the veracity that the government will come after. You know, it's conundrum. I would say you understand over a small man. No, I, so, I, usually, I usually tell my children, say, look, you may offend me, I will forgive you. But government, if you offend government, government will never forgive you. I'm telling you, <laughs> they are so unforgiving. Then you don't offend. We're looking for trouble. I think we're even going <laughs> further away yes. because the question of taxation is something that comes, you know, supposed to come at the end of something. <laughs> yes. From yeah. the very beginning, from the day you try to set up your little corner shop. Yeah. The local government official or somebody is coming to ask for <laughs> signpost. Uh, <laughs> you haven't even the business has even, yeah. you know. A, so a, it, it, it is a, it is it is for uh, that uh, reason. On, on that note of um, uh, 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 double taxation and local government council people coming to this, uh, we take a short break now to talk to people out there on the street and then let them let us get the opinion of what the, whether we need government or not. You know maybe. We should do like the U.S. Shut down government. Let everybody, <laughs> everybody do whatever they want, and then see how we progress from there. Because we have seen that government could be our problem. Don't go away. It's Patito's gang. We'll be right back. When the government is saying that way, it will be reduced. Don't have people that are just striving to get there. Yeah. Italians have um, um, good business um, acumen, and uh, their businesses are more sustained than most of the businesses we find around the world. I believe, having lived in Italy, I know that Italians run family businesses sustainably. And there have, there have been a lot of um, succession, uh, success in succession um, planning or passing on the, the baton to the next generation. Italy has a structure and good policies that can help businesses thrive. Even when someone is not interested in um, looking at what the politicians or politics has for um, the success of business. So you can run your business without being dependent on politics or politicians asking the politicians or running after them to make sure your business survives. But that is in an environment where there are good policies that can favor the growth of businesses. In Nigeria, can we do that? Can we anchor it in that model? We can't, we can't take away politics from our businesses here because businessmen should be involved in instituting politicians or a politics that will produce the right policies that will make businesses thrive. We are back. We are watching Patito's Gang and we are discussing uh, whether we should do away with government, Italian style, for a while and then uh, see how we run the affairs of uh, the nation. You know. And uh, you know, we begin to say, okay, how can we work with government 
and still make the progress that we, we want? What are the things that we need to, as individuals, do? And what are the things that the government also need to do so that together we can yeah. build? Because a nation is built by a collection, a collective, the collective effort of both the government and the citizens. You know, so uh, uh, yeah. of course, uh, the need for common fronts. We have different associations. You know, sometimes it could be hospital, it could be schools. People actually leveraging on those common platforms. You know, to advocate on behalf of their group, and also ensure because one the, the problem has not always been maybe like making laws in the nation, but ensuring that those laws work and that is enforced. So sometimes you could even have a situation. That someone's right is trampled upon even after all the laws. What of the what? Uh, how how, is, how feasible is the feedback mechanism to ensure you get back to the association and then the association back to the government? Some of these things could strengthen, you know, that level well, of. Well, I would say I would say the way to work, or for the government to work with us, is going back to what democracy actually is all about, which is for the people, giving power back to by the people, the people and for the people. Having said that, our government have to realize that they are dealing with human beings. They are not managing properties. Because human beings have the tendency to disagree. But they are becoming so bad in Nigeria that... You can't even disagree with... Uh, your, 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 your disagreement puts you in the bad side of the law. Just because you raise an objection and say, no, 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 we don't like this, this area. So our government have to, you know, um, deliberately realizing that the life of Nigerians, the right of Nigerians, is their business. Do you get I, it? I would, I would say that the government will never realize that because, I mean, it's not in their <laughs> interest to make that kind of realization. My view yeah. is that it is... For, us, the people, to challenge, to learn to challenge government. Yeah, that's the point. To learn to challenge government. That's we don't true. ask questions. Nigerians, Nigerians typically don't ask questions, typically don't challenge anything for several reasons. Well, because like, like, we've been battered, maybe, you know, yeah. like, 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 house, I like, like, die, I like, 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 well, and another way of challenging government is to make sure that we the, we recruit the right people, mm. you know, to go. Very important. Yeah, that we make the right policies that are business friendly. Because one thing we the, the big challenge to uh, government today is that those that uh, govern us make policies for us, they don't really have never run businesses. They don't know what it mean what it means or how people feel. They are far away because they are far away from the people. So they make policies that, you know, we, rather than like uh, the, uh, former, uh, okay, uh, Senator Ben Bruce uh, used to say that government has a way of using the right hand to give you life, and they will use the left hand to take mm -hmm. that life back, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? You know so so yeah. through their policies, yeah, yeah. government will give you life, I was and say, use and the other policies to the, take it back. And I think for the government to be committed, issue of governance has not been a social contract in Nigeria between the citizens and the electives. It's always been between the electives and the godfathers. And to actually make it a, a social contract, the people must get involved. Rather than looking for the offer from a politician, we should rather support their campaigns. Because this idea of once you just declare a politician, everybody wants to you know, look up to well, you for some cobble. We need to correct that. One of the things you realize in this uh, challenging government and uh, civil disobedience or whatever, you will find is that government is already far, far away. So for most people, they don't even relate with that government. The government that causes the harm is too far away from them for, for their little pocket to be able to do anything. I think that as a community, as a corporate uh, thing, we Nigerians have to deliberately bring back government, make it closer to the people. 
Eh? It has gone by several. We days. as a people, we as Nigerians. How do we do that? Yeah, by renegotiating or discussing yeah, our negotiating or, or, or discussing. Especially this uh, election, election, election period now. The people. Yeah. yeah. Or discussing yeah. about yeah. how. Yeah. It's about okay. Yeah. yeah. To the people. Yeah. So our our, our people, people must really well, learn how yeah. to yeah. engage because yeah. this yeah. this uh, electioneering period now, you could see some politicians come down to the street, buy bole, eat with people, and then wave and all the rest. If at such point. People can demand beyond the usual 500, beyond the usual 1,000. When can we ever grow to the point where people can actually understand that 5,000 Naira or 10,000 cannot solve their problem? That such monies are not sustainable. If we demand for something better, because the simple truth is, if I come to a campaign, I want to run for a certain position, and all you want to get from me is 500, it shows how cheap you are. No, no, no. So we need no, to but you don't, blame, you don't blame, excuse me, in a certain sense, in a certain sense, we need to understand the realities on the ground. These people have been put, we, let me say not as if we are different, we have been put, <laughs> we have been put in such a manner, put down in such a manner that you don't even have the strength or the power <laughs> to get up and challenge anything. You first of all have to survive. So for those people that come and look for that 500 Naira, it may be their survival... For how long eh? will they get it? No, but exactly. Yeah? No, hold on. The same reason, there's a point. There's a the reason, reason why somewhere. several people have argued no, what the hell is wrong with Africa. So what is you that should for do... the same reason that will make so, someone in Asia to take to the streets. No, but when so, somebody makes promise and does not get back to you mm -hmm. until towards election. Yes. The same reasons that will make them to resist mm -hmm. the election of same people. See, see. Now, now, same uh, people uh, yeah, yeah, just make back. your points because we got to go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so now the, 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 the reason the difference I think between us and the Asian which you cited as an example is that I don't think that in Asia the structures the structures of government are as far removed and the walls separating the people from the are as high. Eh? Exactly. <laughs> see, let me tell you. So long as you don't see, excuse me, so long as you don't even see, you see, because I think it's a deliberate policy, yeah. you don't even see these people that are causing this problem. They are far away from where the problem exists. Imagine that it is the local government chairman, I give an example, that is in charge of the resource control in your area. He is the one that negotiates with Shell. The local government chairman, you can see him. He's not far away from the house. He's the one that's taking all this money and put it in his pocket. What do you, do you think the people will still react to him yeah. the same way? My they dear, with all the allocations they are getting, they will not. It, no, but they don't, to get to the they don't see it. <laughs> they don't see it. They are not even aware. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Right. Because it goes, first of all, to, uh, to the North Pole and uh, then comes back. All right. I think uh, for now, we should suspend government and survive and build the nation we that we want. We should try to suspend Yeah, government. we should try and suspend government. Uh, ignore that government doesn't exist. Uh, that, that's the opinion of, uh, not that government exists, but just ignore that. that Let, us build build <laughs> Let us build an enterprise. Let us build an enterprise, businesses uh, and all that. Create, let us focus on, uh, you know, creating our own prosperity, our own wealth, rather than suffering from political power struggle. It will not get us anywhere. And you know, as far as we are we continue to do this, then we attract the government, you know, to come and join us uh, and then make laws and policies that will enable us to live better lives and improve our quality of life and the standard of living of every citizen. This is how far we can go, but the, the conversation, the debate should also continue in our social uh, media platforms. Facebook, WhatsApp, and, and all, all the rest. And let's continue to talk to each other until we make Nigeria a better place to build a nation that we desire, our children will be safe, and businesses can thrive. Until next time, see you. And this is still Patito's Guide.